feathery. Yeah. It's not a real one, is it? No, it's worth hard. a lot of money. <laughs> Back in 1800, they played this golf ball on, at uh, St. Andrews. It's okay, got so. flat sides. And yeah. yeah. So then, uh, wood's, a, wood's not a perfect no. and substance it, anyway. Historically, the material, material change, changes everything. Right. You know, jumps up, next level. These are rubber. So this is a you know, raw material and before curing, so it doesn't bounce anything. Right. And add this stuff, boom, boom, boom. And we get, uh, you know, compound and, you know, other processes and get rubber. Okay. This guy, we just mix it up, send it to an injection machine, inject it, boom. So, so, so this is actually, these two are there, yep. are this. Yep. The precision in manufacturing with resin technology allows a much more predictable product and we can push the USGA limits on distance and ball speed and get just very closer to the edge without going over. I actually tested the balls this morning and the firmest ball spun just as much as the softest ball. It does feel soft coming off the face and even around the greens it seems like I'm able to chip it and not worry about it just releasing out. The whole resin technology is a revolution in material. Where the wound ball was here and the solid rubber core is here, the resin technology is going to take us up here. There's not many people that come up with this kind of idea and, and Rock will probably tell you he didn't do it all himself, but he's got a, a great team here at Nike, and, and that's basically why all the athletes are with Nike, because we know and we have enough trust and faith in them that they'll do the best job possible for us. Mm -hmm.